Previously on Metazoo! A man from the shadows. <laughs> then, with a chuckle that could wither spring flowers. Wouldn't you agree, old friend? Spilling from eyes was a heavy shadow extending to the road and outward into the sky like two colossal wings. Indrid Cold's unnaturally large smile peeled back even farther. <sighs> Tell me what you see, old friend. <sighs> Tell me of Tell me what you see, and I will do my great work. <laughs> the man from the shadows continued down the road, skipping occasionally, as he passed a battered road sign that said, Welcome to Pleasantville. Welcome to Point Pleasant. The man from the shadows began to whistle a merry tune. Probably shouldn't whistle with our beastie bunny around. She, uh, she gets very excited when she hears whistles. If you've ever watched a baseball game from a distance, maybe you could only afford one of those nose bleeders. The speed of sound is very much on display. The sight of a batter cracking the pitched ball always reaches you slightly before the matching crackling sound. The symbolism here is pretty on the nose, but no less worth pointing out. The farther away you are from something, the harder it is to make out the details, to see how everything is connected. And that was the case on one Saturday morning at 10.04 a.m. During a mid-morning heat one can only experience on the East Coast in August. To the many satellites that would take photos of the aftermath and to the many more analysis that would try to make sense of the scale of the catastrophe, all that was seen was the appearance of the cryptid, codenamed, Mothman. Above a Little League baseball game in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, followed by an explosion large enough to shatter windows over a hundred miles away. This was by no means a unique event for that morning, a morning plagued by similar, unexplained, and supernatural events. Events that only those that survived them, and survived them up close, could speak to the true story. And this was the case on this particular Saturday morning at 10.04 a.m., when the veil that was put into place over a thousand years ago finally shattered. And we will pick up the next page on the next episode. So cool. So cool. I love Mike's writing. I really love it. I love the picture he's painting and this, this intro that he's giving us. <laughs> the cryptid code named Mothman. Oh, so cool. And the veil shattering after a thousand years. Who put up the veil? At 10.04 a.m., Saturday morning, East Coast, where we grew up. You know what we were watching at 10.04 a.m.? We were somewhere between, like, Eek the Cat, Down Tasmania, and X-Men. Mm -hmm. Would that be fair to say? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we were doing. And, like, Saturday mornings and summer vacations, those were, like, something of the same essence. They were magic, you know? It was, like, it was the And best. they were hot. And they were hot. And they were so hot. The East Coast hot. gets so hot. He's, accurate description very accurate description yeah it's like you're in i mean you are you're in water it's like you're in a warm bath and you can't get out it's almost like a jacuzzi but you have clothes on it's so strange yeah this is just such a good setup that was i love the 1004 that's like a 
it's like a Twin Peaks feel. Oh, yeah. And I love yeah. me some Twin Peaks, Diane. Welcome to Point Pleasant. <sighs> well, actually, more like, oh, welcome to Point Pleasant. <laughs>